Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon to our honoured guests. Welcome to webinar session of Higher Education Virtual Expo 2021. With me today is Haji Noor Hasno, Haji Muhammad Hamdani from College IGS, who will be presenting a topic on innovation and integrated education for youth empowerment. For any inquiries, you can type your questions in the chat provided and will be answered during the last 10 minutes of this session. Thank you. Okay, thanks very much. Uh, let us first and foremost give uh, our utmost gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is because of his uh, guide uh, that we are here today. Okay, um, this is uh, basically we talk about innovations and educated educations for youth empowerment. Uh, regards to the uh, this is regards to the, our our convocations is coming up uh, March. Um, then, yeah, uh, you know, Brunei youth empowerment in context defined as the young people uh, between the age of 15 to 40 years. Uh, that we knew that our our target is for the young people is actually is linked with or related to our uh, programs in college IGS, that we uh, try to improve uh, the youth access in order to resources and changing their belief, the values and attitudes by empowering them through the integrated educations. So uh, what is integrated educations? Actually, the integrated educations contains basic principles of functions. The objective of our national education system is that is to instill the religious, spirituality, morality, intellectuality, patriotism, independence, and physical well-being. That's why it's uh, linked with the um, Malayu Islam Raja. And then the integrated education encompasses institutional aims. It's like the, the basic is the curriculums, the learning domains, and most importantly, is human potency. Uh, this is uh, related to our, uh, what do you call it, the, our, our programs in college IGS. I just uh, uh, ran, do it randomly. I don't want to uh, more talk about this uh, uh, regards to the um, uh, innovations and creativities, I just want to go to uh, the our programs, okay? Because the that innovations and creativity is uh, that creative uh, technologies is uh, based on the one link uh, to, uh, is related to our programs. Okay, our our uh, programs and partners, we have a uh, three uh, institute. Uh, they are University of Technology Brunei, uh, Lim Kowing University of Creative uh, Technology, and University of Mr. Sabah. And then under UTB, uh, we have uh, programs that we call it Bribers. Uh, and then this uh, Bribers is uh, the foundations program in business, which is run under Faculty of Business, that the one, uh, the applicants who fall short of A-levels or international bachelor points to meet university's minimum and to equipment and design to equip students with basic knowledge and skills and exposure of studying program that are offered in UTV schools of business. So meaning to say that after they are, uh, you know, uh, graduate uh, as a foundations program, and then they can go to uh, direct to the uh, UC Technology Brunei. That program is duration of about six months. And then uh, foundations programs is a one year, as I mentioned before, uh, we have foundations business, and then foundations in information technology. And then uh, under the LUCT program, uh, we have Bachelor of Business, uh, Business Administrations, Software Engineering in Multimedia, Information Technology. Uh, we have uh, Technology with Technopreneurships. We have Communications and in Digital Media, as well as in Professional Design as a Visual Communications. This is all the five, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven degrees uh, that we uh, offer in uh, College IGS. Plus Foundations Program with LCT. And then uh, plus bribers from uh, University Technology Brunei. And then uh, we also have the partnerships with the UMS, 
this uh, partnerships we are uh, actually uh, we we do a program regards to the uh, uh, certificate programs uh, in art and design and uh, certificate in electronic media productions uh, one year course and then uh, it's only uh, eligible for for the uh, uh, students who have two O levels and then uh, after that when they finish uh, the O levels i mean the the, the, the certificate and then they can go up to uh, our uh, diploma uh, in college igs so the the faculties of college igs programs uh, they have uh, as mentioned faculty of business we have faculty uh, of information technology we have faculty of multimedia broadcasting and faculty of art and humanities and then uh, we have so have a general studies faculty of general studies which include a consists of malayus Raja, islamic studies history of Islamic civilizations, English language, mathematics for business and which technology, as well as industrial work attachment. Okay, uh, achievement of the students. Uh, College of is recognized by the industry for the quality strength of the graduates and the, the high potentials to future industry leaders. At College of IGS, students are taught lifelong life, uh, skills and expertise that will shape their future career in the global business environment. So over the years, College IGS has been consistent in molding students who have shown potential potentials to be innovators and leaders. So we have uh, uh, a lot of um, uh, uh, achievement uh, regards to these uh, students. They achieved the big the BCMA investment challenge and also CIMB 3D conquest. This is uh, what uh, we uh, did in uh, 2011. Uh, the big ta, as mentioned before, uh, we have a chip ta, uh, we are uh, award for implications design is a first runner up in the in 20, 2015. And then uh, first runner up in the 2018 Brunei Rosalam Capital Markets Association Challenge, they call it BCMA Investment Challenge. And then we also see IMB uh, 3D Conquest, uh, which is uh, the shoot listed uh, to represent Brunei Rosalam at the ASEAN stage out of 92 teams from Malaysia and Thailand. So uh, we include that time uh, as a CIMB, CIMB 3D uh, conquest. So regards to the learning environment, uh, actually we are centralized in Lakatan City Kenangan Complex, near the Wahokia Lab. And then this is a kind of uh, equipment or facilities that we have. We have uh, uh, productions, uh, uh, TV productions, film, uh, we had arts uh, and also art design. We have also photography. Uh, we have the uh, uh, library. Um, the sort of uh, all of uh, equipment regards to the uh, productions, the pre-production, post-productions, and the productions. As we know that uh, College IGS offered uh, a certificate in electronic media productions, which is uh, more to TV and radio productions. And then we also have a Bachelor of Communications and Digital Media, uh, more to into, into the, the production side, the photography, uh, TV, film, and also as well as the art and design under Faculty of Art and Humanities. <clears throat> okay, regards to the uh, students are all equi re required to enroll as full-time students. Uh, this, uh, we have a day or night mode. We don't have any uh, uh, part-time uh programs but uh, we call it full-time even though uh, we have a, a night mode uh, because for the night mode is the for, for the students actually for the the, the uh, in-service students or the one who are uh, working in the day and then they have opportunity to uh, learn in the night time uh, so accordingly in our aim to empower the youth of brunei Jerusalem, students may choose between two modes either day or night though so we have uh, to ample time, day and uh, uh, night time for them uh, to continue their study. So the night mode is made available for working professionals, as I mentioned before, and then classes will be conducted at night from 7 to 10 p.m. So there are no uh, 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 reasons that uh, we, we don't have or not attend the class during the, the, the night time. So the, the, the one who are in service uh, students and go to night time, and then the, the full time students that want to go to daytime also available. So both day and night. So uh, okay, general entry requirements regards to this. Uh, we, we said that before that minimum of two O levels for specific programs, 
uh, for the diploma programs, they can uh, at least minimum four O levels. Any any O, they can uh, eligible to go to diploma programs, and then uh, one GC all A levels or five O levels, they can go to foundations programs, and then a minimum two GCA A levels or diploma or foundations for degree programs. In regards to the the, the two the certificate programs, uh, any O they can eligible to go to the certificate, and then four O levels. Uh, for the diploma programs. The all levels, we have four. Uh, we offer four diploma. One is interactive multimedia. Second, uh, advertising, multi broadcast and multimedia. Third, uh, we have uh, animations uh, with multimedia. And the fourth, uh, we have uh, graphic and design, diploma graphic and design multimedia. And then all level uh, certificate programs, we have electronic media productions and the art and design. Uh, foundations, we have three uh, programs. We have uh, IT foundations, business, and as well as the um, uh, design program uh, for the foundations. Include one from the UTB, Pribus programs, which is actually uh, the uh, start programs is coming up, is coming up uh, March, uh, first March. But still, uh, if anyone wants to join or wants to uh, uh, register, uh, you can still join until third week of uh, March. Uh, and then we go move on to the, uh, okay. This is a specific, a specific entry requirement and fee structure. You can go to uh, our register online, www.collegeigs.edu.bn if you want to any inquiry or regards to the registrations. Or you can schedule an appointment with an admission officer and then you can call up 223-8701. 223-8701. So if you have any further uh, inquiry, please go to the website and then or you can go to or you can call up directly to the admissions officer, 223-8701. I think that's it. Uh, any questions? Uh, please uh, You may uh, 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 give questions, any questions I'm to ans okay, answer All right, so okay. we are open with our question and answer session. So is there any question from the public? Okay, while waiting for the questions from yeah. the public, um, uh, you did mention about the part-time, uh, the full-time students mm -hmm. for it to be required. Why is that so? Why is that no part-time at all? Why is it only required full-time? Okay, uh, we do a uh, full-time because we don't want to uh, jeopardize uh, students' uh, time. So, uh, so meaning to say that the day and uh, day and night time they have a similar uh, time uh, to finish off their own degrees. Okay, only degrees, uh, only the degree uh, programs uh, we we did in the night time, only the degree degree, uh, not not the certificate, diploma, and foundations. So it's very specific to the degree program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, you've mentioned uh, the general entry requirements. Uh, what was the difference between the two foundation program? Which which uh, uh, foundations? The general entry requirement. Uh, you mentioned the, that part. Uh, ah, yes. this one. So we have to write a minimum of one one GCA level levels, and O levels, all five O levels for foundations. Yeah. And what's the difference with between that one and the bottom part? Uh, okay, uh, the the foundations uh, actually the requirements is one GCA levels any any A, uh -huh. okay, and then uh, five O levels any any O levels subject that uh, eligible to the programs uh -huh. because it's, foundations is something like a bridging. Right. Okay, it's bridging the one who not enough point uh, to the degree they can go to the uh, foundations first, uh, a one year program, and then after that they can uh, directly to the uh, degree programs. Same as bribers, bribers we have uh, about uh, six month programs, mm -hmm. and then automatically they will go to UTB after that. Is that kind of bridging? Okay, so yeah, bridging. All right. Thank you very much. Okay, so we have a question from the public. So, is there any plan to add more courses in KIGS 
And if yes, what type of course? Yeah, uh, we have planned uh, to, to add up uh, more courses actually, more to the, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, level, certificate levels. Mm -hmm. Now we have pipeline already. Uh, we have a certificate, uh, what do you call it, uh, SC2. Okay, we just required one O levels uh, to the uh, more more to the media and art design. Yeah. Okay, so another questions are: uh, Are the graduates from KIGS marketable? Yeah, uh, so far about eighty percent. Uh, they were working with the government and then uh, some private sectors as well as their own uh, businesses, because this is more to due to the um, uh, creative and innovative uh, programs. Thank you very much. Um, um, right. So any questions? Okay, so there's another question yeah. from the public. Do you offer scholarship to students? Okay, uh, currently uh, we have uh, certificate levels that offered uh, by scholarship by, by government actually is under SV. SVP something like that. <laughs> BPTV, yeah, BPTV is under under government. And, the and then also the progressions from the certificate until uh, to, to up to the diploma. They have their own certificate. I mean, I mean the, the, the scholarships from BPTV. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, so if there's um, a foreign student right. who wanted to actually uh, enroll into KIGS, so. Mm. During this pandemic, how do KIGS tackle this kind of problem? Okay, if they, they, they can uh, uh, enroll, uh, but uh, due to COVID, so we can uh, upload through the online. But if the foreign students are already here, so they can register uh, based on the students' uh, permission, what immigrations, yeah? Yeah, immigrations, what do you call it? Uh, rules. So, so there's no no problem at all. For no, the no problem at all for, for okay, the so, foreign students. Yeah. So, is there any? It's like, uh, do you have any online program yeah. for this? Yeah, we have so, the, because we, we we using LMS learning management system mm -hmm. uh, to do this uh, online, and then we can go to the Zoom or any uh, Google Meet something like that. Okay. So, how about the assessment of the students? Yeah, we will uh, give the assessment through online. Mm -hmm. That's why we we use LMS learning management system that can conduct uh, all sort of uh, assessment through the uh, online system. Okay. Thank you very much. So still waiting for another question uh, questions from the public, if yeah. there's any. Just to add on, uh, actually, uh, currently we do open a uh, day until today is the last, but we will do another open day uh, after a uh, convo. Okay. which is on the 18th March, 2021. Okay, okay. because we convo, we call is on the 13th March. Yeah, yeah. 13th March, uh, 2021 at College, College IGS. And then after that, we, we open up for the uh, registration as well. Okay. Uh, uh, because the registrations for the degree, diploma, uh, until 1st of April. The foundations until end of uh, March still have uh, time uh, if, if you want to register. Okay, so we have another question from the public. Do you offer accommodations for students from KB or in from Tamburong? Yeah, okay. Uh, for the accommodations, we don't have any uh, accommodations, uh, but they due to, uh, you know, our, our place is very specific. I mean, they, they're more to you know, a commercial center. There are a lot of uh, rented uh, places that can be rent. Range are, uh, around 100 to 150 nearby uh, our college. Okay. So is that very specific or is it for the, if that student is to actually enroll there from mm -hmm. a very far place, so they have to- Rent. Rent. Yeah. Oh, okay. So the range is 100. 100. 50, yeah, 100 to 150 per month. They have uh, some some of a kind of a, a rented that nearby with the college. And then they have to look at their own uh, 
apartment lah. Mm. Okay. So any questions from the public? Apart from accommodation? Actually, our, our place is very centered. Actually, they, they make commercial center. Uh, there are a lot of restaurants there. It's around 69 restaurants. You can, you know, uh, select yes, uh, the Arabic or any Indian foods, Malay food. A very good convenience, actually. How about security? Security is so far so good. <laughs> no, no, uh, no, 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 any, yeah, no criminal. They not much on criminals aspect, but but it shows. So it's you know it's near the most as well, and then you know uh, places okay. have to go. Okay. Hotel. Security. Yeah, we have a security in oh, terms of yeah, college security. So how about uh, if we talk about transportation? Is there any for example of transportation so that this, for example, a foreign students or from uh, KB or Timbukdong student, students who actually mm. go from places that yeah. this actually being provided there. Yeah, uh, we don't we don't provide the the, the, the transportation. Uh, that's why I said uh, there there are a lot of uh, nearby uh, rented places that can be you know, rent without. So that it's much more yeah, easier much for easier, them. convenient for them without any transport. Right. So we have another one here. So do you rent day one if there's any majlis? Yeah, we did. Uh, we for 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 the married you know, any any occasions we rented it out okay. to the public. So the hall is very yeah. Is it very big or is it suitable for? It's very really big. Really big. Yes, capacity okay, so around three thousand, two thousand. We have one place called yeah. uh, the MCC. But that one is especially for the uh, seminar. Yeah, workshop. for the seminar. We have a, they call it uh, BMCC uh, for the seminar. Uh, for the conference or any 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 functions that you know committed around uh, two three hundred fifty foundations. Three hundred fifty yeah. foundations. Okay. So any anyone who actually wanted to use the hall, so it is provided there. Yes. Okay. So that's very convenient. Okay. So uh, anything else that? Uh, yeah. Uh, it's coming coming up communications on the 13th March. Uh, we will we, we used our, our college uh, venue, so this is I think the second or third time uh, we use it. Uh, uh, and then of course uh, due to the COVID, we have SOP uh, for uh, for this coming up uh, uh, communications. It's around 139 students will graduate in consists of uh, certificate, diploma, and degree uh, students. Okay, so we still have time. So anything yeah. else? Any information, any new information that you'd like to share to the public? Okay. Uh, so uh, so far, uh, we uh, still uh, offered uh, to the uh, uh, applicants if you want to uh, apply to college IGS in regards to the uh, uh, new semester in tech. Uh, for the foundations I mentioned before, uh, we start first March, but they still can... Uh, registered until third week of March. And then for the April intact, we start on the first April, and then they can register until end of, uh, no, second week of the April. So, so uh, there's ample time to, to, to register uh, to our college. So anybody who wants to uh, apply, or you want to uh, inquiry, uh, uh, but any facilities or whatever, etc., you can go, go to our website, www.collegeigs.edu.vn or you call up uh, to admission officer uh, for appointment so just 2238701 okay. maybe you want to uh, ask uh, about the uh, uh, what do you call it uh, the fees uh, registrations uh, the subject okay the pathway something like that So we have another question from the public here. So is there any advertisement about IGS via radio or TV channel so that they can actually be aware? Okay. Actually, uh, we uh, have uh, the uh, radio, uh, but 
on this coming up uh, open day on the 18 because on the 18 uh, before the uh, open day we'll uh, uh, market through, through radio stations and then to the tv on pagi okay for for the for the uh, public to away our our uh, open day and then uh, during open day we also have uh, uh, for the, I mean, I mean, for the booths, for, for the business, for entrepreneurs, especially for the students, the alumni students, uh, to uh, to to uh, expose their things. I mean, the business we offered for for the alumni, alumni students and the public as well. So uh, it's about around uh, eighteen or twenty one uh, participants. Uh, I mean, to join a business. I mean, the booth uh, to enter the booth uh, in that that uh, particular open day uh, on the March. There are a lot of activities actually, uh, plus uh, students' uh, uh, final project, okay, uh, exposed to the IT, the art in design, uh, and the businesses. So there are a lot, the game, something like that. So on that day? On the day, on the 18th, inshallah. Okay, so please, everybody, on the 18th, there will March, be no yeah. 18 months. March that will be the open day, right? Yeah, open day. So anyone will uh have time to come, please come. Yeah, come. Do come on that day yeah. and see what your future will look like afterwards. Okay, so anything else, uh another information that you want to share to the public before uh we will be stopping the time? Yeah. Uh I just two mentions again, uh regards to the bribe bus. Uh we also uh, uh, expose our bribers uh, programs at UTB on the 24th uh, of February uh, under University Tech Brunei. Uh, this bribers uh, programs actually is uh, collaborations with the UTB and then is for the business uh, programs, they call it business administrations as well as business accounting mm -hmm. programs. Uh, so this programs is a it's a kind of bridging, and then uh, for the for the public or for the applicants that don't enough uh, credits or not enough points, they can join, and then they can uh, uh, join the private program, and then end up uh, after that they can uh, uh, direct to the UTB after they finish the foundations and the private foundations, then and, and then they go to the UTB to to the uh, degree programs, government. yeah, under government scholarships. Yeah. So everybody, so that's uh, a new fact about KIGS right now. So this is something that we like to actually see um, during the open day. And if you like to see a lot of information or more information from KIGS, please come for their open day. Um, and also, if there's anything, any required inquiries please go to their website and also the numbers provided on the screen okay. thank you very much thanks for very joining much us. thanks so much okay so uh, thank you very much for all for attending our webinar session 2021 uh, we hope that it benefits all of you and stay tuned for more interesting topics on our last day which is tomorrow uh so bye for now. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thanks, thanks so much. Bye.